Hello and welcome back to another haphazard recording. I am your host Lance Renard and I began today to investigate some interesting issues in uh, many different forms, fields, and avenues and uh, it led me to today and all of the flooding that's going on, the, um, the video that uh, was just put out by Static in the Attic and uh, talking about all the flooding and rains and um, trouble we're going to have with the water. And um, after that, I kind of got a little lost in space. I um, started thinking about the values of things and, I, and going into um, different viewpoints and ran across this... Uh, fifth beetle he's kind of a giant and he's st george Mar well uh, st george martin apparently the late music producer known as the fifth beetle has been accused and uh anyway jumping around from issue to issue is part of my game i i prefer to do that than uh, get boring but yeah we're going to be flooding gang get ready for it uh if you're in a flood area watch out or make preparations. I already know pretty much what I'm going to do. So I've got my swim trunks on and I got my little uh, floating devices and I'm ready to rock baby. Ready to go with the flood. And also the um, the whole Armageddon thing um, comes to mind when you start thinking about that sort of detail or you know the flooding everywhere and I'm going to run through these images uh, quickly to see if my uh, devices are working uh, in any way proper. And it'll give you an idea just by osmosis to be able to see, um, you know, what's happening. And measuring devices and IQ tests. He needs, uh, yeah, a ruler would be good. You know, these strange, um, most dangerous railroads. We're going to be talking about that talking about that 180 degree curve and uh, near 180 degree curve the most digit I'm going to talk about how to handle a spiking mall and that this is not a gun pal it's it's a spiking mall I worked on the railroad and uh, that guy has never spiked a spike in his life he's never held a mall either this is how you spike us um, you know I've, here's the video with my editing I plan on doing this soon I'm looking forward to taking lessons and um, <clears throat> lightening the load as it were you know this kind of stuff where you regulate I used to give these actually I used to administer these and uh, I gained an interest in doing the administration of those tests uh, because when I was quite young in school I had a minor problem and uh, they yeah they told me I was uh, well they told my mom and the family and pretty much the world I think it was in the newspaper that I was a you know dunce and uh, and, and then they had me tested and um, yeah and then they put me up into uh, the most advanced and I was the genius of the school the king the hero yay <laughs> but they didn't have to live through those times where I was you know the stupidest person so I get lost in space occasionally in my presentations uh, these guys are swell I really liked Will Penny and the gang Dr. Smith and Mr. Robertson Barbarino Barbaran um, you know we're gonna be investigating as I worked on the railroad you're like man you've done a lot of stuff yeah I worked on the railroad and uh, you level is very important um, how you see things and, it's, uh, and what you've done in your life like I've done this I've been with the gang that's me over here with this hat on I love those hats and I can't wait to get another one and uh, you know some people uh, you know, are over judgmental about what they think they know but it's really a matter of osmosis you know uh, you can lackadaisically kick back and be uh, distracted, and uh, or you can get curious and know that that is called a cow. Female elephant is a cow. I didn't check that. I didn't look it up. Go ahead and Google it. 
see if I'm right. Tell me in the comments whether or not this has four legs. That's <laughs> too weird. That messes with my head. And that's part of an IQ test. Uh, these other floating people images are for a reason. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got a roundabout way of talking about things. And, if you know, I just, uh, this is a bunch of uh, crap. And because of the relations in um, symbology and what, where you were born and where you were raised and the terms and symbols that you learned. And, uh, you know, when you were four years old, your brother was half your age, which is making two. Now you're 18. And how old is your brother? 16, I guess. I mean, I don't know don't see what the point of that is tell me if I was incorrect in my assumptions or math or calculations uh, some of the steep grades in in the railroad um, are interesting and I am scientifically validated uh, by the quackadamians and that is the distance between the rails and your tires and um, yeah that's a Phoenician setting right there boink Phoenicia uh, and uh, people aren't aware of that if you dig into or just relax you'll get it you know you'll get it these these things administering these things and and I administered the OCA the ICA the American capacity standard analysis I <laughs> I got to learn them and so if I were to take uh, one I know how they're done I know uh, you do the easiest questions first and then you go back for the more difficult ones and um, yeah Doing this kind of thing right here and actually physically pounding that into it, you see how it's put together is just a plate on a chunk of wood with a rail in it. And the gradients and the, and the heights, that was the best part of that movie. But anyway, or series. Um, yeah, the gradient of the rail is huge, is huge. You can't run a train. You can't, um, you know, have that much weight and uh, you know all the logistics of, of uh, the level the level of things it's got to you can't go up above or below a certain degree of level or the trains gonna tip over once again my my directionals are really messed up so I will be producing this in another way rather than my common way um, not quite sure what's up with this I'm going to do, take a quick look at it right now because uh, you know I, I want to keep going with this so it's right here under uh, hmm, railroad there we go yeah see how there's all these images that aren't um, even showing at all which is uh, kind of perturbing so uh, anyway with okay an image like this for instance all right, do a quick shot in your mind. Doom, 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 doom. All right, this is a setup question. Um, the answer is, all right, you've got a decision, okay? Lower left corner, I've got a decision. And um, of this thing is the answer to that one. But uh, how you calculate what you calculate is determined by your upbringing area and you know how you were raised and that's that's a fact jack and so to try to put that under a testing device with symbols or that black and white squares that you just saw and there's so many other ones like the elephant the things that are important to us I think are more uh, vital for us to learn and issue, discuss uh, I've got some good links um, I like the static in the attic warning and I'd like to convey that as well that we got a lot of water coming in and um, yeah. yeah 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 and you're all going through it too if you're in uh, you know America <coughs> or actually anywhere in the world for all of the water I was planning on having a much longer time to work on things however uh, things be as they may, I'm going to have to cut it a little short, but I will be back with another fascinating and interesting uh, calculated and devising haphazard recording, and I hope you've enjoyed some of the, whoops, that's all destruction, man. 
yeah, wanted to get that message out. But uh, yeah, some of the information that we've covered here today is, is valid on the many, many levels. And I hope that you can appreciate and see some of the information that I have been conveying or trying to convey. So I will look forward to having a little more time, uh, possibly tomorrow, to uh, lose my five recordings and start all over again. And you, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And we'll see if I keep this one up. Thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Again, hopefully.